Kiss on the 5.3 and 1340 with hip hop and RB Live. Today, party was your favorite DJ, DJ D. Sewell. Y'all, let's discuss some hip hop news now. It is time for. D. Sewell, what the hell happened today? And a lot of stuff happened today. Y'all, we got to start off and talk about Coyla Ray. She dropped off a new project today called Blue Moon. I do not know why she dropped on a Wednesday when albums come out on Friday. But that's not what we're talking about, y'all. She dissed Lotto and Trippy Red. Now, people have been saying that she got beef with Lotto, and uh, in one of her lines, she says, hop up on that couch and roll up that Lotto out the bag. And she also says, they tried to count me out. Now I'm as big as Trippy Red. Now, if y'all didn't know, her and Trippy Red used to date back in the day. They got a little beef. And she do got a point. She's about as big as Trippy Red right now. I got to give her that. But uh, y'all, if Alpha's got a week, it's only five songs on that thing. I do like one song on there. I listened to it earlier today. It's called Dream, Still Dreaming. Uh, that song goes hard. But y'all, get off Cool Ray. She's trying to diss Lotto and Trippy Red. Y'all, in other news, Doja Cat, she announced her new album, Scarlet, will be dropping September 20th. 22nd. Are y'all looking forward to that or not? Nah? Y'all, she already has two singles out from the project, Attention and Paint the Town Red. Paint the Town Red got a lot of motion right now. I've been hating on Doja Cat, but she winning with that song. She's dropping a new song this Friday called Demon. So we gonna see what Doja Cat can do on September 22nd. It's the album she says she gonna be rapping on, y'all. Rippity rapping, we gonna see. <laughs> y'all, Jay-Z, he returns to Instagram, but it's to promote his new film. Uh, he will serve as co-producer for the Book of Clarence, and the film will feature new music from Hove as well. The film has a star-studded cast, and uh, it's about a man claiming to be the new messiah, and it's coming to theaters January 2024. The trailer of it looked really, really dope. Y'all should check it out if you haven't seen it yet. And y'all, last but not least, Travis Scott announces the Circus Maximus Tour. Uh, it kicks off at the beginning of October, and it ends in November. And uh, y'all, people are kind of mad at him because it doesn't have any dates for Houston, his hometown. Y'all know that's where the big tragedy went down for his Astro World Festival. So uh, people kind of wondering if he's gonna come back and perform in Houston, but this is just the first leg announcements. I think it's like 22 dates he announced, and uh, it's just in uh, North America. So you already know he got to go all over the world, and he'll probably announce another leg soon. So he might be headed back to H Town. I don't know. We're gonna see. But y'all, that's what the hell happened today. I'll be back tomorrow, 2 p.m. sharp for him. Kids on a 5.3, 30, 40.